Good morning. This is uh, week three I just completed since my total knee replacement. And I just wanted to give you an update how I was doing. So this last week of my third week has really been uh, a big improvement in so many ways. I finished my home health um, physical therapy and I'm now in outpatient physical therapy and things are just going so much better. Um, I'm having less pain. I still have pain, but I have a whole lot less pain than I did. Um, now it seems like more of the pain is kind of the incision pain. So I don't know if that just means it's healing better, but um, I am doing a lot better. Last night I actually slept in the bed. I've been sleeping in this reclining chair <laughs> for a couple weeks. And uh, I tried a couple of times to sleep in the bed and I just couldn't do it. It was, I'm kind of a side sleeper. So it just, whether I was on the right or the left, it really didn't matter. Both sides hurt my knee with either my knee laying on the other knee or, you know, vice versa. And so um, last night I slept in the bed and it was actually pretty good. I slept about five hours not as much as usual. I kind of like about eight hours to sleep, but um, it was good. It was it was good to sleep in the bed and just stretch out all the way. And, you know, it just worked out really nice. Um, the other thing is that my physical therapy is going better. Um, the exercises are, they're still really hard. You know, your knee isn't where it was at three weeks you know, post-surgery, but they're a whole lot easier than they were three weeks ago, for sure. Um, my flex, I guess it's called your flexion. <laughs> it, I had it measured Tuesday. It was at 94, so that's pretty good. Uh, the, the outpatient, or I'm sorry, the inpatient physical therapist told me that um, by week three, to have it at 90% was really good. So I think I'm right on track to where I need to be. Um, <clears throat> a lot of the questions that I've had for the physical therapist have been, you know, am I doing, is there, am I kind of normal? What the normal knee replacement recovery is doing? And kind of the answer I get back is that everybody's different. Everybody heals at a different rate. Some people are faster, some people are slower, and the key is to just keep doing the exercises, keep moving around, you know, keep taking your um, anti-inflammatories, your Tylenol, your different medications that they give you. They all kind of work together. So I think it's going pretty good. Um, I've actually been out, I've had, the, I still have my grandkids every morning and thankfully my husband has been home the last couple weeks to help me with all kinds of things. And he picks the grandkids up and takes them, well, my daughter-in-law picks them up to take them home every day. But I have them for like four hours a day and they're two and four. <laughs> and they kind of keep me on my toes. So I have to really watch you know, being able to rest enough along with all the exercise and everything I'm doing. Uh, I am still icing my knee. Um, it's not nearly as swollen as it was. It, the first two weeks, my leg was so swollen. I mean, behind the knee, around the knee, even my calf was super swollen. But even that's gotten better. It is still swollen, but I don't have that terrible swollen feeling behind my leg that I had. Um, but I'm continuing to ice. I think that really helps when I elevate my leg. I try to elevate it throughout the day at different times. Um, but I'm really happy with the progress. I think it's going pretty good. And I actually see my doctor February 1st. So I'm another three weeks away from seeing him. Um, I'm hoping at that point that my swelling will have gone down significantly that, you know, I'm sure I won't have no swelling, but 
Um, I'm hoping that it will be better and that my mobility will be better by the time I go to see him. Um, but I'm pretty happy with the results at this point. Um, as far as the pain level throughout the day, I do have different times that I still have pain and I have had a couple days that were just really, really, really rough, even within the last week. And most of the pain for me seems to be to the left of my incision, closest to the inside of my leg. That's where the pain in my knee is really kind of coming from at this point. Um, a lot of the other pain is just kind of subsided, but it flares up at different times. Like when I do the exercises or when I walk too much or even when I sit too much. Um, so what I'm finding is to kind of mix it up all throughout the day, stand, walk, sit, lie flat, you know, ice your leg, elevate your leg. Even in week, week three, I'm doing all of those things. And that's when I seem to feel the best. Um, as far as the stronger narcotics, I'm taking one of those uh, before I do my uh, physical therapy. And I'll probably do that for the next week just because it seems like it's, you know, really helping. And then um, I didn't take one before I went to bed last night, but I think I'll do that tonight. I'm hoping I can get a little bit more sleep. Um, but otherwise, I'm kind of down to like one or two a day. So I'm really happy about that and hoping in the next week, maybe I can be off those and just doing the Tylenol. But I'm open to whatever I need. I'm not going to deprive myself of anything. There's no reason to sit in pain if you don't have to. Um, they're not going to give you more medication than, than you need anymore. It isn't like that. Like the old days, <laughs> you know, it's, it's not like that. Um, so anyway, I just wanted to give you an update. I'm pretty pleased with the way things are going. And I'm hopeful that they'll just continue getting better. Uh, if any of you are considering knee replacement or on your way to starting it, or even if you finished it, um, the comments that you leave are really helpful. I think we're kind of all going through the same types of things together. And I think we all can learn from each other. So anything you have to share or, um, you know, add to this is, you know, greatly appreciated. So if you're enjoying this content, please consider subscribing to my channel. Give me a like, a comment. I really appreciate um, your support. So thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.